examiners love asking this question, so it's well worth revising it well and having a prepared answer before you go into the exam. So this is a vacuum flask here and it has certain design features. It has a plastic lid on the top and a plastic cap in the middle. It has a shiny surface on the inside and then there is a little air gap in here. There's a vacuum in here, there is a glass bottle on the inside and there is a plastic case on the outside. Now this can be quite... Um, intimidating question when you first come across it because the the question is simple how is a vacuum flask designed to stop energy loss all you need to do is break it down into different parts and then look at them all individually so let's start with the lid at the top if we put a lid on something we are trying to prevent evaporation the plastic cap Plastics um, are an insulator, so there we're trying to prevent energy loss by conduction. The shiny surface is going to be a reflector, so we are going to be preventing energy loss by radiation. The air inside is going to be a very poor conductor of heat, so this is again trying to stop it by conduction. The same goes for the vacuum. If there are no particles, there can be no transfer of energy, so we're going to be stopping um, energy transfer by conduction. And then glass and plastic are very, very um, poor conductors, so we are going to be preventing energy loss by conduction. Now, what we've done there is we've broken the question down into different parts. The lid, the plastic cap, the shiny surface, the air in the vacuum, the glass bottle and the plastic case. We've worked out which um, type of energy transfer would be corresponding to each of these and now all we need to do is just turn this into a six mark answer. I think the best way to approach this is to write several sentences, each addressing a specific design feature. So here I've just picked the plastic lid, the shiny surface, the vacuum and the glass bottle. There are so many things you could talk about in this question, um, all of them structured in the same way. These are just four I've picked as examples. So the plastic lid reduces energy transfer and this is a really really key thing we are talking about the transfer of energy here so what I want is this to be the next part of all of our sentences there we go we are now constructing a really good six mark answer here. so the plastic lid reduces energy transfer by the shiny surface reduces energy transfer by the vacuum reduces energy transfer by and the glass bottle reduces energy transfer by now all we need to do is to pop in um, the relevant answers and just expand upon it a little bit so we can make sure we get those top marks so the plastic lid reduces energy transfer by evaporation so I've told the examiner what sort of energy transfer it's stopping and then I've expanded upon it just a little bit to make sure they really know what I mean as it stops steam getting out. I've just added in there a little bit extra. It also reduces energy transfer by conduction as it is made of plastic. So there I've just taken a specific part, I've told the examiner I know it reduces energy transfer and then I've explained why. Moving on to the shiny surface which reduces energy transfer by reflecting the heat back inwards. The vacuum reduces energy transfer by convection and conduction here as there are no particles to transfer energy. If we don't have any particles there can't be a transfer of kinetic energy so it's not going to be energy transferred. The glass bottle reduces energy transfer by conduction as it is a poor conductor of energy. So these are just four examples you could have answered for this question. You could have done lots of other things um, for this. These are just four things. But I think this is a really good way to structure your answer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.